the Yorkshire Tea Condition Stakes is next down. It's a 0-65. This one's a right down at the bottom, Class 7. And over a mile and a half at the top, Outlander for Martin Lidham. Smiling success for Satya Miners, Thomas Rogers, Glass Jewel, Alex Cherry, Him Lizzie, Thomas Rogers, Paul Letter, Alex Cherry, Cunning Duck and Tiablo Daisy for Stu Gray. So eight of them this time. Trying to pick up a prize in this 0-65. And away they go. And closest to us was Glass Jewel. In and out okay, but nothing seems that keen to lead at the moment. Uh, the Sat Yam horse smiling success would be everybody's favourite to lead, but Outlander is pulling for its head. The Alex Cherry pair also close up. The Steel Grey pair are running together, but it's smiling success who's now got across to the inside and has taken a clear lead of about three lengths. And the Alex Cherry pair, Glass Jaw and Pauletta, second and third. Cunning Duck on the inside is fourth, then Outlander. After that one with Miners, Tiablo Daisy, and finally him, Lizzie. Just the back marker at this point in the race. They've still got nine furlongs to go, and Smiling Success is now happily bowling along in the lead. From Glass Jaw second, Cunning Duck on the inside third, then Pauletta fourth, Outlander is next, and then. Tiablo Daisy and Miners with a gap of three lengths to the back marker. Him Lizzie. Well, inside the final mile now, and smiling success. Trying to make every post a winning one. This sat young front runner seemed to manage to stay a little bit ahead of the handicapper week after week. He keeps notching up more and more. He must have had his best season ever. And Glass Jaw in second. Alex Cherry's also having a good season. With Cunning Duck back in third. And comes out Lander and Paul Letter. Miners is next, then Tiablo Daisy. And still that three length gap to him, Lizzie, at the back. He's going to try and come past the entire field. But it's smiling success in front. Paul Letter now making a move around the outside to join stable mate Glass Jaw. Outlander's also been pulled out around the outside. Cunning Duck is going to pursue that run up the inside and hope not to get boxed in behind Smiling Success. I think Stu's probably had enough boxing in for one week, but it's Smiling Success in the lead from Glass Jaw in second. Cunning Duck on the inside is third. Tiablo Daisy's trying to run on as well. There's no boxing in today, and Cunning Duck comes through the challenge. Smiling Success, these two are pulling clear, but it's Smiling Success. Then two furlongs still to go. Smiling success from Cunning Duck. Now Glass Jaw starts to come out of the pack as well as the leading pair. Starts to slow down, but Smiling Success is still in the lead. Cunning Duck's got nothing left. Glass Jaw is after that. Tiablo Daisy up the centre of the track. Outlander, they pass the furlong pole. And it's still Smiling Success in the lead. But here comes Glass Jaw. And on the inside is Tiablo Daisy. Up the outside is Outlander. And now Glass Jaw hits the front. It's Glass Jaw in the lead from Outlander as they come to Woods Line. Glass Jaw takes it. Outlander second. Tiablo Daisy third. Who lives? He ran on for fourth and then Miners, the long time leader for Satyam, dropped right out of it and was last, I think, in the end. And Glass Jaw takes it for Alex Cherry, proving that he hasn't got a Glass Jaw and he was there for a battle up the straight Outlander. Second, so Glass Jaw the winner for Alex Cherry. Outlander the top weight second for Martin Leadham. Tiablo Daisy for Stu Gray was third. Him Lizzie for Thomas Rogers was fourth. And Cunning Duck for Stu Gray was fifth.